ಈ ಸಮಾರಂಭದ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷರಾಗಿರತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಶ್ರೀಮಾನ್ ಸತೀಶ್ ಪೈ ಅವರೇ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಶಾಂತಾರಾಮದೇ ಮತ್ತು ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದ ರೂವಾರಿ ಆಗಿರತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಉಡುಪರೇ ವೇದಿಕೆಯಲ್ಲಿರತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಇತರ ಗಣ್ಯರೇ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಮಾಧವ ಪೈ ಹಾಗೂ ಶ್ರೀ ಟಿ ಎ ಪೈ ಅವರ ಅಭಿಮಾನಿಗಳೇ ಮತ್ತು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಿರ್ ನೆರೆದಿರತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಪತ್ರಿಕಾ ಮಾಧ್ಯಮದವರು ನಾನು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಆಂಗ್ಲ ಭಾಷೆ ಮತ್ತು ಕನ್ನಡ ಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಮಾತಾಡ್ತೇನೆ ನಿಮಗೆಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಖಂಡಿತ ಆಂಗ್ಲ ಭಾಷೆ ಇಂಗ್ಲೀಷ್ ಬರ್ತದಂತ ನಮಗೆ ಸರಿಯಾಗಿ ಗೊತ್ತುಂಟು ಇವತ್ತಿನ ದಿವಸ ಈಗ ತಾನೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕೊತ್ತಾಯ ಅವರು ಹೇಳಿದರು ಇನ್ನು ಎರಡು ದಿವಸದಲ್ಲಿ ಅವರು ರಿಟೈರ್ ಆಗ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂತ ಹಾಗೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಮತ್ತು ನಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರ ಪರವಾಗಿ ಐ ಟೇಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಪರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ಟು ವಿಶ್ ಯು ಮೇ ವೆರಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಟೈರ್ಡ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಅ ಗುಡ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಆ್ಯಡ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಟು ಇಸ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೋರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ದಟ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಟು ಇಸ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ now my dear friends as you all know we have assembled here to pay homage to two great stalwarts the builders of uh, modern manipal late dr t m pai and uh, sri t a pai both of them as urupa said they died on the same day 29th of may dr t m pai died in 1979 and uh, sri t a pai at a very young age in the year 1981 both of them have made names for themselves that's why we are assembled here to remember them you know all of us born on this planet have to die one day or the other now illa onnalo ondu saile vekku ee jagatna mutigo but to industry is up but to industry is up if you make any if you help somebody then only people remember you that's why swami vivekananda said those only live who live for others rest are more dead than alive bere avarige oskar yaar bartaro avrde nijavada jeevana ulidor bartidru satavar age anta but these two stalwarts have lived for others that's why we are remembering them every year smriti dinanta and i'm sure not only this generation people of this generation people of generations to come i'm sure will remember these two great souls now dr tma pai i always call him three in one he was a medical doctor mbbs uh, madras medical college in 1925 he was well made through then he was a banker he was the founder of syndicate bank one of the important nationalized banks in our country matto he was an educationist nama manipal academy in 1948 he was made through because he always used to say that our country faces three problems one is illiteracy anarakshate ill health anarogya mattu poverty badatan and he was of the strong opinion that if you take care of illiteracy and ill health poverty will automatically go so to take care of this illiteracy he started this academy of general education way back in 1942 started from first primary secondary high schools then junior college then degree colleges and then of course the first professional college first self financing medical college in this country way back in 1953 that's how he took care of illiteracy then ill health medical college and the associated hospitals which he started that is why today in our district the literacy rate is almost 100% next only to our neighboring state kerala and our health indices like maternal mortality garbhini or sayadu atha sanna makku sayadu infant mortality is very very low compare it to the western standard only in our district i am telling you but if you compare it to the rest of the country it's very very poor so all these things are responsible because of this great man dr tma pai that's why i always call him three in one so all of us are here because of this great man and we should remember that then sri tma pai he was a very dynamic person a multifaceted personality he was an economist par excellence he was a banker par excellence he was an excellent administrator he was a politician i should not say use the word politician you know they say i should say he is a statesman because you know politicians always think about the next election rajakaranigal baro election nil matra kaalanu aalochane madu but statesmen think about the future generation future of the country so i should say gfi was a statesman par excellence but unfortunately for all of us he died at a very very young age so it is very important for all of us who work not only for manipal group who are part of this undivided south kendra district 
should remember these two great souls, which Urupa as well as Krishna Patai have already said. So, with this brief introduction, I am asked to speak on health for all, Sarvarigo Arogya. So, what I am going to do is, I am going to divide it into three parts. One is prevention of the disease. Kai level baran Then early detection. Prathamika sandalye kai levanu patte hachyo. Matthu kai le bandha nantradun guna padichu. Treatment of diseases. Now normally, you know, the prevention of disease should be taken with great importance. It should be the priority. But unfortunately in our country, 80% of the money spent on health care is on treating diseases. Hardly 15 to 20 percent is on prevention. I'm sure Ramchandra Kamathu is going to follow me. He's, blue, he's basically going to talk about prevention of diseases. We'll stress on that. It should be the other way around. Our government has been telling for the last two, three decades that by 2000, to health for all by 2000, it has not happened. And it's unlikely to happen in the very near future also. So, prevention of disease, if you do, you can, you know, prevent many diseases from coming. Especially, this is very, very relevant to rural areas and semi-urban areas. See, all of us live in that. In our country, even today, about 65 to 75, 70 percent, Arvattai Dhrinda, Yappathu Shekhar Das Jana, Gramina Pradesh, Halli Pradesh, Vasistar. Avarige now, Arogya Kudu Bala Gatya. So, unfortunately, what happens is, what's happening is, Though majority of the people live in rural areas, the healthcare facilities and education facilities, Arogya Mattu, Vidya Kshetra Dali, hardly 20 to 25 percent of the facilities available for this majority of the people who live in these areas. Most of the facilities are in the urban areas. That is one of the major reasons why you see migration of people from rural to urban areas. So to prevent this, we must provide these facilities in the rural areas, education and healthcare, and also job opportunities. If you did that, I'm sure the migration of people from the rural to the urban areas will stop. So this is very, very important. Now, how do you prevent this? Because actually prevention is better than cure and it is much cheaper. It's much cheaper than uh, treating a disease. Hechila mana itu obre udio tu, awak ni kalau <laughs> kaila bandre, yarud taruh mana start kere, bandu kaila itu guna pergi kerja macam macam kita tu do, matu asa ni dah lewat ni kelas macam ni kau tu, sampah ni hana dudili kau tu, so it will help him affect him in two ways. That is why prevention is very very important. Now how do you prevent most of the diseases? See we have water borne diseases in our country, very very common, diarrhea, dysentery, especially in small children. That is because of unprotected water supply. Only new protected water supply. This is very, very important. Then sanitation. 